Hello guys and welcome back. This is Leslie Lens. If you're new here, kindly hit that subscribe button. So today we're going to talk about Samsung. And as per the title, it's about the leaks and rumors that we have already received so far about the S24 series that is yet to be released earlier on next year. So these are leaks from reputable sources and previously they've ended up being 100% accurate. We are going to talk about the display, we're going to talk about the battery life, the processors and the chips that we're going to use this time around and things that are going to change from the S23 to the S24 series. We are going to start off with the display. So for a long time, Samsung has always been the pioneer on the curved edge displays and it has always been their trademark, sort of. Until recently, now in the S24 series, Samsung is going to ditch the curved edge display and they're going to use a flat display. This is something that is a huge leap from what we know Samsung of. Already some people have expressed their differences. Some have said that they love the flat display. Some have also said that they wish Samsung would continue with the curved edges. Do you like the flat display or the curved edges? Kindly leave a comment down below. Again, I'm going to talk about specifically the S24 Ultra because many changes that are going to come and what we've already seen so far and the leaks that have been released are focusing specifically on the S24 Ultra. The S24 series is going to come with very thin bezels as we've already seen from the leaks presented by IC Universe. IC Universe is one of the most reputable sources when it comes to leaks and most of the times he usually gives us the leaks that turn out to be 100% accurate. So he did some renders about the bezels that you're going to receive on the S24, S24 Plus and also on the S24 Ultra. Samsung has really done a great job in improving the bezels. They are very thin this time around. Specifically on the S24 Ultra, the bezels are razor thin and they're also equal on all angles. Again, you'll notice that this time around, the edges of the S24 are flat. They are not as curvy as previously seen on the S23 Ultra. This is something that iPhone is already doing, starting from the iPhone 12, iPhone 13, and also on the iPhone 14. I don't know if Samsung is trying to copy iPhone or this is where technology is heading to. But again, some people have also expressed their dissatisfaction on Samsung trying to make everything boxy and everything edgy. Some have said that they want the old Samsung, which always had the curved edges and also the curved display. The S24 series is also going to have very bright screens. Peak brightness is going to shoot up to 2500 nits. Now, this is going to be very bright compared to the S23 series and also compared to iPhone. It's going to beat the iPhone 14 Pro Max that was released last year as its peak brightness goes up to 2000 nits. But still, it's not going to beat the Xiaomi 13 Ultra as its peak brightness shoots up to 2600 nits. That is very bright and maybe in the next improvement they are going to beat the Xiaomi record. Again on the coverage display, I would say that some Samsung users have always complained about a problem when it comes to getting a curved glass protector. So maybe this flat display is going to help them on this. Let's move on to the battery. Again, it's an improvement as usual. There'll be a huge improvement from the 4,700 mAh on the previous S23 Ultra to 5,000 mAh on the S24 Ultra. Hopefully this is going to help those who have always been complaining about battery life drainage on the S23 and also on the S23 series. This is going to be helped by the new processor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. According to the leaks that we have already received so far, there is some uncertainties about the Exynos chip and the Snapdragon chip. It is rumored that Samsung is going to introduce the Exynos chip 2400 and also the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on the S24 and also on the S24 Plus. But the S24 Ultra is going to get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor without the Exynos. This is going to cause some problems because Samsung users have always complained about the Exynos processor. Some have said that it's very unreliable, its performance is not great at all, it overheats whenever you use your phone for quite some time. In gaming, it's also not that reliable. So I don't know why Samsung is trying to introduce this. If at all, they're going to use the same. Because if at all users have said that it's something that is unreliable, Samsung should try as much as possible to get rid of it. Talking about the performance, the S24 Ultra is going to get 144 Hz refresh rate. This is something that has always been applauded on the Samsung series. Some have even said that the refresh rate on Samsung is even faster than that on the iPhones. So they don't need to do so much improvements here. The S24 series is also going to come with the One UI 6.0 and also Android 14. And of course it's going to improve on animation and any lag that was witnessed on the S23 series. 
So as usual, Samsung is always going to have quad camera on the S24 series. There is no much improvements on the camera, so far so good, and also the leaks that you have received so far. On the S24 Ultra, it said that the main camera is going to be 200 megapixel and the rest will be 12 megapixel sensors. So this is going to be a slight improvement compared to the S23 series. And as you saw the comparison between the S23 series and iPhones and all the other phones, we can easily tell that Samsung is at the top when it comes to their camera quality and also on their color science. Now storage. So the S24 and the S24 Plus are going to start with 12 gigs of RAM and 128GB storage while the S24 Ultra is going to start with 16 gigs of RAM and 256GB storage all the way to 2TB. That is not confirmed yet but it's something that is most likely going to come. This is also going to be supported with an external SD card ranging all the way to 1TB. These are flagship phones and premium phones so definitely they are going to go heavy on storage. That is something that is going to be expected. Now talking about the SOS, last year Apple released the iPhone 14 and it came with an SOS emergency which could send distress signals through satellite connectivity of your information and your location to someone so that they can come and help you. Now Samsung is going to introduce the same on their S24 series and it's said to be an improvement on what iPhone did. News coming out of South Korea says that this is something that is going to be incorporated on the latest Samsung which is one of their best companies, their top company and sort of South Korea pride. So the main improvement on this SOS is that you can send and receive information through satellite connectivity which is a little bit different from what iPhone did because on iPhones you can only send information but you cannot receive the same. So this is going to make communication even much more improved and make the SOS feature much more effective. As usual it's always a competition. I always say this whenever I talk about these phone features it's always a competition between these phone companies and at the end of the day they always want to see who is going to be superior and who is going to bring more people into their own ecosystem. So this was a quick recap about what Samsung is doing on their S24 series and what we are going to expect on the S24 lineup that is yet to be released later on in 2024, probably in January or in February. So thank you very much guys for getting up to this far. If you're new here kindly hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, click that like button and also to my returning subscribers thank you very much for always supporting me. If there is any tech that you'd like me to talk about kindly feel free to leave a comment down below and also if there is any additions about the S24 series also leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.